Today I'm in the port city of Hull, an old stomping ground of mine, and crucially for this video, one of the first places that Vodafone switched off their 3G in the UK this year, 2023. To test out this new 3G-less network, I have brought with me a range of devices to assess how it functions in a range of scenarios, ranging from the 2009 era HTC HD2, a 2G, 3G smartphone with a touchscreen and browser and some actually fairly modern capabilities, all the way up to a Xiaomi 12, a highly capable 5G smartphone with a high-end modem and all the modern features that people expect from their devices. It is also possible for me to simulate a 2G only device with both the HTC and the Xiaomi by setting them to 2G only mode. With a 2G only device, the experience is very much unchanged compared to when 3G was around because of course the 2G only device would never see the 3G. Vodafone's 2G network supports wideband voice with surprisingly high quality calls. Meanwhile, for data, there is Edge, which while very slow by modern 4G and 5G standards, works quite well for loading basic web pages and a bit of instant messaging. Now with 3G capable devices, I have found the experience in this area without 3G isn't actually too different from using a 3G device in a 3G area. This is because a lot of the devices that don't support 4G are now rather old, have low capability CPUs and are generally low end devices. This means that the slow data capability provided by Edge on 2G is actually not necessarily all that much of a limiting factor compared to the limited browser support and slow device. For voice calling, the 3G device will get the wideband capability on the 2G network that Vodafone has and therefore actually voice calls on 3G devices I found sound very similar to what they did when going over 3G. So now, what's it like using the Vodafone network in a 3 g area with a modern, capable 4G or 5G smartphone? For this, I've been using the Xiaomi 12, which is a highly capable 4G and 5G device, and the experience is very good. It's actually better than when 3G was about. And that's because the device isn't dropping to 3G and is staying on 4G and 5G a lot more than previously. To summarise then, I think the biggest practical thing that people will notice is that they're spending more time on 4G and 5G than they did previously. Thanks for watching this video about my experiences using Vodafone in one of their 3G switch off areas. I hope you've enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.